in this question a longitudinal standing wave in which displacement is given as uh, a cos kx cos omega t is maintained in homogeneous medium of density rho find the expressions for the space density of potential energy so space density means energy per unit volume so potential energy per unit volume as a function of x and t and kinetic energy per unit volume as a function of x and t and then we have to plot the graphs uh, of these functions at t is equal to 0 and t is equal to t by 4 between the two displacement nodes of the medium okay so potential energy in case of waves okay so whether it is a string wave or it is a longitudinal sound wave so potential energy is due to deformation created in the medium when wave passes through it okay so deformations or in this case of standing wave let us uh, if i assume suppose uh, this is the medium in which the wave is traveling and suppose if i take a small element here okay so let's say this is small element has length uh, equal to dx okay so let's say this uh, element has length equal to dx so and suppose the cross section area is equal to s i can assume it to be a cylindrical type of uh, medium so suppose this is the cross section area and this is the length of that medium so in this small volume in this small volume what is the potential energy stored let us calculate so in this small volume what is the potential energy stored so potential energy i will calculate using the formula 1 by 2 stress into strain that is energy density and if i want to write the potential energy in this uh, volume i can write du this is half stress multiplied by strain into the volume of this uh, <coughs> medium so s dx if i divide by sdx so it, it will be energy per unit volume potential energy per unit volume i am representing potential energy with symbol u so this is du by sdx and this is uh, this wp okay this is wp for us so stress what kind of stress is here so in this kind of situations the stress is uh, basically the axis pressure okay so stress is basically the axis pressure and strain is the volumetric strain and what i can do i can just uh, write stress is equal to elastic modulus into strain and that elastic modulus in case of, of gases and fluids that is bulk modulus in case of solid that is young's modulus so suppose uh, the wave is propagating in a fluid medium so i can write this as bulk modulus so bulk modulus into strain square okay and strain here will be the volumetric strain delta v by v okay so what i've done is uh, i've done this is the elastic modulus modulus of elasticity into strain square okay so it will be this and this is s into dx so s into dx is in the denominator it is uh, giving the energy density now so half b into uh, delta v by v this is the volumetric strain square now i can write it equal to this half b and this volumetric strain in case of this sound wave or longitudinal wave this is given by do y by do x this is differentiation of partial derivative y with respect to x okay so if i know this uh, equation so y as a function of x so i can differentiate this suppose i am denoting this as y so this y is equal to a cos kx cos omega t so you can put it here and you can find this wp so i hope you know this relation okay delta v by v volumetric strain is equal to do y by do x if you don't know this relation don't worry i will derive this relation in this video at the end of this video okay so i will do a derivation of it so right now i am going for the calculation of this thing then i will do it so this is wp and wp now you can uh, put this function and differentiate it so half b and do y by do x so if you differentiate this and square it so it will be a square k square cos square so cos will become the sin okay so cos will become sin so it will be sin square kx cos square omega t okay so this is uh, the potential energy density now you can replace this b velocity of a wave is b by rho density and b can be replaced by rho v square so if you replace this and then you can use this relation angular frequency omega is also equal to kv so if you put this b here rho v square so v square k square and v square k square you can put this omega square so finally it will become half rho a square omega square sin square kx cos square omega t 
okay so this is the wp okay so wp and now we have to find the kinetic energy kinetic energy is somewhat easier okay kinetic energy is not a big issue here kinetic energy you can calculate like this so in this small element the kinetic energy is let's say dk and this dk is half mv square so half mass will be the density into volume okay so half m velocity is square velocity will be the differentiation of y with respect to time partial derivative this is dou y by dou t square now just divide by this uh, as dx and it will be the kinetic energy per unit volume okay so it will be wk and this will become half rho now you can differentiate the given equation okay if you differentiate the given equation as a function of time so with respect to time so cos omega t will become sin omega t here okay and one omega will come out so a was there already so a square omega square cos square kx it is sin square omega t okay so now this is wk so now we have uh, found the two things uh, as required for the part a and b of this problem and now we have to plot the graphs okay so let's plot the graphs so graph you have to plot for t is equal to 0 and t is equal to t by 4 okay so the equation of y is given as y equation is given as both are given in terms of cos here so you can see both are cos here cos kx and cos omega t so now y is equal to a cos kx cos omega t so where are the nodes nodes is where the cos kx is 0 okay so we have to plot these two graphs at t is equal to 0 and t is equal to t by 4 at uh, nodes okay so we have to plot at nodes okay and uh, graphs for what graphs for the space density distribution of total energy so total energy will be we have to add oh, this wp and wk we have to add this two so if you add this two so w will become now wp plus wk okay i'm not writing the expressions again so w is wp plus wk okay so node for node cos kx is zero okay and uh, at t is equal to zero what is happening at t is equal to zero cos omega t is one so displacements are at their maximum values okay so at t is equal to zero if i plot t is equal to zero for, uh, the function of this y so plot of y will look like this plot of y at t is equal to zero so at t is equal to zero plot of y <coughs> will be look like this this is at t is equal to zero this is the plot of y let's say all are at their uh, uh, extreme position at t is equal to zero and this is one node and this is another node at these locations cos kx is zero okay so these are the locations at which cos kx is zero now at t is equal to zero at t is equal to zero if i want to write the energy so what is wp wp cos omega t will be one so there is no issue but wk will be zero so if you write total energy so total energy will be contributed due to this potential energy only at t is equal to zero okay and uh, here the cos kx term is zero at this location at this location cos kx is zero here cos kx is zero if cos kx is zero and in wp only wp will come and in wp sin kx will be one so it will have the maxima and here it is having the maxima y has maxima so this will have the minima okay it will be zero here and since this is a square so it will not go below zero okay so let's go for this graph at t is equal to zero it is only contributed due to wp okay so let's complete this one so it is basically the graph of sin square okay so it is basically the graph of sin square so i have plotted the graph of sin square okay this is basically sin square type of graph okay now at t is equal to t by 4 so what is happening at t is equal to t by 4 so t is equal to t by 4 So if you go for this y, okay, if you go for this y, so basically these are nodes at t is equal to t by 4, what will happen is, uh, just see this two, so this t is equal to t by 4, this will become 0, okay, so wp will become 0 and this will become 1, so the energy is contributed due to this wk and in that we have cos square graph, so this will be having cos square, so cos square kx is 0 here, so at t is equal to 
t by 4 if I plot this graph so it will become like this. So it is now cos square kx okay it is now cos square kx so since cos kx is 0 here so it will be plotted like this in between it is having the maximum value. So this is t by 4 okay so these are the two nodes these are the two nodes displacement nodes. Now see the derivation of the result. Uh, delta v by v that is volumetric strain is dou y by dou x the difference is you know, y with respect to x and let us take uh, a small element of the medium that is of length dx so dx length ka element pe cut kiya. suppose uh, one end is at x is equal to x or the other end hai, wo x is equal to x plus dx pe pe. So, ab yahan se wave pass kar rahi hai. Jo wave pass kar rahi hai, that is a longitudinal wave to yahan ki jo layer hai, ki jo particles hai, these particles will be shifted क्योंकि पार्टिकल्स के ऑसिलेशन होते हैं अबाउट देयर मेन पोजीशन तो सपोज ये अगर इनकी मेन पोजीशन है तो इसके अबाउट दे आर शिफ्टिंग ओके दे आर डूइंग ऑसिलेशंस तो जब हम इसकी इक्वेशन लिखते हैं सपोज व्हेन वी राइट द इक्वेशंस ऑफ दिस वेव्स लाइक दिस सो दिस आर द ट्रैवलिंग वेव्स ओके सो अगर मैं इनकी इक्वेशन लिखूं तो इक्वेशंस आर लाइक दिस ओके समथिंग लाइक दिस इक्वेशंस आर समथिंग लाइक दिस सो दिस वाई ट्रैवलिंग वेव और दिस कैन बी स्टैंडिंग वेव ओके सो particles are oscillating like this so this is y and when uh, y what is the meaning of y what meaning of y is the displacement from mean position so y yahan pe displacement hai from mean position kiska a particle which is having mean position at x is equal to x jab koi wave pass nahi kar rahi is medium ke through to ye particles yahi ke hi rahenge this this particles will not move at all okay ye particles yahi ke rahenge ye particles move nahi karenge so this particles will not move at all okay so, when the wave pass, kar rahe, to this particle starts oscillating about their mean position. This particle starts oscillating about their mean position, and this is the displacement from the mean position. And since this is longitudinal wave, because it is longitudinal wave, then the displacements will be the displacement of propagation in the direction. In this line, there will be displacements. In string wave, mein, propagation in this direction, then the displacements are like this. Okay, displacements are transverse in string waves. Okay, suppose this layer at this particular moment of time is shifted from its equilibrium position by a distance y okay so at x is equal to x the displacement from mean position is let's say equal to y okay so this displacement from mean position is equal to y and uh, at layer x is equal to x plus dx there will be a differential change in the displacement from the mean position if at x is equal to x displacement is equal to y then x is equal to x plus dx displacement will be given by y plus dy okay so differentially it will be different so it is uh, something y plus dy so this displacement is going to be y plus dy okay okay now we have taken a medium which is having length equal to dx this is its a natural length okay so dx is the natural length from here to here okay so this is your dx which is uh, the natural length of this uh, medium so this is dx but now this layer is shifted by a uh, distance y and this layer is shifted by a distance y plus dy so there is a change in the shifting so that's why the length of this medium length of this medium has changed now the length of the medium because this is shifted by y and this is shifted by y plus dy okay so it is shifted by uh, dy more so that means the length of the medium which was earlier dx now changed by changed by dy okay so change is dy so i can write the volumetric strain now like this volume volumetric strain we can write volume strain so length is changed and uh, the volume is changed so what is the change in volume so change in volume divided by the natural volume in natural state volume in natural state when there was no wave passing there was no deformation okay so change in volume will be given by s into dy this is change in length and volume in natural state is s into dx so this s will be cancelled and this is basically dy by dx okay so this is the volumetric strain so that's it we have proved this relation so this is volumetric strain we can write dv by v or for small changes because we consider always the small changes so small deformations so I can write is delta v by v also and this is basically dy by 2x parcel derivative y with respect to x 
and now if we want to change the equation of a displacement in terms of pressure change so we can do it like this okay so we can go like this so the axis pressure axis pressure is given by the bulk modulus and uh, this is the volume is strain okay so volume strain is uh, divided by x so now using this relation you can from given y equation you can shift to axis pressure equation this is the pressure variation pressure variation above or below the natural average level okay natural average level when there was no way passing through it okay so this is your delta p this is the change in pressure here